I don't know if you are printing the picture you're taking or you just have it on the computer but if you are printing the pictures uh, there can be a really different result depending on which uh, PC, laptop, Mac you are using uh, because uh, the screen is different uh, uh, calibrated or uh, yeah set up from the out of the box uh, depending on what brand you have and uh, what type of screen you have so the really important to uh, have the color accuracy uh, when you are printing pictures because it can actually be uh, really different from the uh, picture you see on the screen from the picture you're getting on the print so uh, to do something about that uh, you have to uh, calibrate your screen because uh, uh, this is a tool you can use to like uh, it will uh, getting the co correct color of your screen and uh, therefore uh, what you see on the screen is also what you get on the print and uh, that is the point when you're printing out right so actually way back when i started photography i got recommended to calibrate my screen because when i print out my pictures then it was totally different what i saw on the screen and i don't want that so I have used a tool from a company called Datacolor. This is a spider. Uh, this is a little thing that you put on the screen and it will measure the light and the colors and will uh, adjust it according to what is uh, correct. So a uh, little bit uh, out of date, the old one that I have and I was lucky enough to get sent this here uh, for free to test this out uh, once again. Um, this is the Spider X uh, Pro version, so I'm really excited to see how that will work out. And uh, if it's like the old one that I had, it's really easy to set up, e really easy to use on, uh, on the computer with the software. But I'm going to go through it so you can see how I do it if you are thinking about uh, buying something like this yourself. And uh, yeah, if you are printing pictures, it's a must to have a calibrated screen. So it says in the description that you need to warm up your screen in about half an hour uh, to get the most effective uh, result out of it. And then you need to download uh, the, the software. You can see it in the, the link that I show you here. And when you have to, done that, install the software, you just follow along with the instruction. What you need to do, you need to register it with your name and your email and uh, just set up with that. So, and then you need to check the boxes uh, and see if you have gone to the routine about, for example, the, the warm up of the LCD screen. Is it a laptop? Is it a desktop? And so on. And when you have done that, you need to place your calibration tool where it shows on the screen and then press next. And then we'll go through this uh, color, um, like different colors and different uh, light types. And uh, take about, yeah, two, three minutes maybe. And then uh, when it's finished, you can just save the, the setup and then you can see switch back and forth to see what it was before calibrated and after. And as you see here, it's a, a little bit cooler from the uncalibrated screen and a little bit warmer from the calibrated screen. So yeah, it's a really great tool, especially if you are printing out pictures. And I also recommend to do the calibration one time uh, per month uh it can get a little bit off totally worth it if you will like i said printing out a lot of pictures that you want to hang on the wall you will definitely want to have the same type of color the same same type of brightness that you see on the screen uh on the paper as well so yeah i hope you get something out of it and uh yeah and i will see you in the next one bye